Lahore, always a great venue, a great city, a lot of history, even though certain instances we like to forget, but we are all about the positives. We're looking forward to the future. And Sri Lanka are doing that. And you're right, looking at history is not going to help them. Look at themselves, see what they can do to improve their game, get their game in order. Avishka Fernando will be opening the batting with Danushka Gunatilka, who got 100 in the ODIs. But here's a man to look out for, instinctive and very good to watch when he gets going. He's a craftsman in T20 with a new ball. He'll get that angle back into the stumps. Difficult to hit. Difficult to decipher at times. Good numbers for him. Economy of less than six. Good average. He's a wicket-taking option for Safraz. That's why he's employed in early. Don't look for any spin, may I suggest. Uh, beautifully played, fast outfield, and first four of this contest is registered. Uh, nice shot, beautifully struck down the ground for four. Oh, how wonderful is that! Classical from the left hander, Gunatelik has played a couple of spanking shots. Magnificent ride, this one. Short, way too short from Shadab Khan. Sri Lanka scoring in excess of 10 and over. That's short and picked up, what a shot! And it clears the man out there, if the car, and it's gone through his hands for six. And it brings up a half century. But Danushka Gunatalaka, 52 from 32, and that's a strike rate of a staggering 162. He's picked up the length so well in this innings from the word go. And this one too short by Shadab and deposited. Just a tad too short. So quickly was he on the back foot. That's worth a shout. Yes, he's gone. Alim Dar, finger straight up. And Gunatalaka is not impressed. We've got to hurry. They are appealing for DRS. Gun barrel straight, and it's clipping leg stump. Oh, it might, might have clipped, and if it has clipped, it'll be umpire's call anyway. So you're not, you're safe. You're safe. Alim Dar has given it out. We'll find out from Ultra Edge if there's anything on it. But there's nothing on the bat. Has it pitched on? Yes, it has. Is it hitting leg stump? Umpire's call. Umpire's call and Alim Dar has given it out. So Gunatalaka is going to have to walk. That's the first wicket. A very fine innings from uh, Gunushka Gunatalaka. His highest score in T20 international cricket. He's gone for a well compiled 57 from 38. A big shot. I think it's gone all the way. It's a six. Mighty well deserved. Lovely shot. Oh, direct hit. Wonderfully filled it. Who's the guy who's hit the stumps? It's Shadab. Who else? Is an outstanding fieldsman and a marksman. Another look at Aviska Fernando, looked pretty hard, but found the man at mid off. Because the issue went through quickly. Sri Lanka 120 for two, Fernando run out for 33. 
slaps. Oh, what a good sound. And what a good hit that is. That ball was in there for a long time. Oh, he gets the Yorker in. Yes, that finger goes up. It went in like an exocet. And it was ripping out leg stump. Fine delivery by the young Hasnain. And the dangerous Ragapaksa is removed. A quick delivery around the wicket. Yorker. Let's have a look around the wicket. Cross seam delivery. Came in in the angle right on the front toe. It looks here missing leg, but umpire thought differently. Unfortunately, for Ajapaksha, he has to go. Played well, 32 of 22. Sri Lanka, 135 for 3 in 16. Oh, he's gone big. That sounds pretty good. How much has he got on this? He's got plenty. <laughs> that is an absolute belter of a six. It's gone short. And this again has gone. It's another big hit from the skipper. Oh, young Sharnika. This is unbelievable cricket here from the skipper, Sharnika. Second six. Oh, he's gone again. I'm not sure he's got enough on this. Oh, it's a collision. Um Rachmel. Um Rachmel, I think, has taken the catch eventually. He's always in that hot spot. But that might have been a nasty collision. Smiles now. Slow ball. A cutter, an off cutter, he picked it up, then middle it. There was a fielder at mid on, fielder at mid wicket, and that's where Ahmed should have been shouted, or either a Marakmal. It's mine, it's mine, but obviously it's very noisy outside, sometimes you don't hear. But good wicket for Pakistan. The skipper departs for 17, Sri Lanka, 153 for 4. Tries to carve this, only finds the man at extra cover. <laughs> Amit Shazad takes the catch. And Jasiria has gone. Noisy out there. They're loving it. The Lahoreads. The Lahoris. Good wicket. Second wicket for uh, Hasnan. The pace did the trick here. And simple catch to Amit Shazad. Back in the game, Pakistan team here, 153 for 5 now, Sri Lanka. And Jasuria departs for 2. 153 for 5 in 18.2. Hasnan, Hasnan comes in. And he's actually got a hat trick here because he got a wicket, Rajapaksa, the last ball of the 16th over. And then Fahim Ashraf bowled, and then the first two deliveries of this 19th over, he got the wickets of Shanaka and Jayasuriya. He's gone for the Yorker as well again, that's brilliant from Mohamed Amir. That's the innings closed, he finishes with number 25 from his four, Sri Lanka. Finish their innings 165 for five. Pakistan, uh, world's best T20 side, can they live up to their reputation? 166 of 20 overs at 8.3 RPO. Amateur Pressure beyond him. He staged a comeback into the side. Has always had talent and ability, but uh, not only has he had performance swings, but mood swings as well. Barbar Azam has been silky smooth in all the formats, more so. White ball cricket. Still extremely young and look at the numbers. Magnificent. 
Sri Lanka to defend 165. Oh, some slight movement off the surface. Yeah, glorious. Barber stroked it into the gap for four. Oh, glorious timing. That is such a beautiful shot because it was so well constructed. Moved across the stump and then punched it wider of the mid on fielder. A real gem from Baba. Edge and taken. Brilliant. Absolutely world class stuff from the keeper. Baba has been dismissed. And they've taken out a real threat here, Sri Lanka. Huge wicket, Barber with a fantastic shot. This one trying to drive it on the up. And Pardeep with the new ball strikes. What a wicket for Sri Lanka. What a catch. And what a dismissal. Trying to drive on the up. Just maybe left him a touch and a one-handed stunner. Absolutely world-class stuff by the keeper on debut. Getting rid of Babar Azam. Gone for 13 Pakistan, 13 for one. Oh, bit of an inside edge. I heard a woody sound. He's walking. Straight ball, trying to play across the stumps. Yeah, it seems that he's given himself out leg before wicket is not going to go for a review. It looked dead straight. Gone. First ball. Pardeep with a straight delivery, angling into the stumps. Omar Akmal first ball trying to whip it across the line. Just a hint of inward C movement, but he played all around that. Pardeep is on fire. Two and two, Sri Lanka on fire. Omar Akmal comes and goes without scoring, it's 13 for two. On a hat-trick. Where is the call? Bowling, big inside edge. Big result for Udana. Things not working well here for Pakistan. They're losing their way. Three down now. Just trying to hit it just a little too hard. And so his patchy existence comes to an end. Yeah, it was neither a cut shot, not the back foot shot. Big inside edge, knocking out the stumps. And so another wicket falls. Sri Lankan flags are out. Having a blast out there, the Sri Lankans, they bowl well, they batted well, 22 for three. Oh, that's beautifully played, nice extension of the arms. And that ball hits the fence in no time. Some relief. 17 balls since the last boundary. Now is this one, is this a boundary? Yes it is. It's the boundary that Pakistan desperately needed. Goes over the top, inside out. Cut short. Just the perfect length for a shot like that. Quick single here. Oh, trouble, trouble for Pakistan. Great fielding. By the man at extra cover, that is the captain, Dasun Shanaka. And Sri Lanka has got a wicket at a vital stage of the Pakistan innings. Huge miscommunication between the captain and Iftikhar. Not that, not to lose a wicket at this stage of the game. Pakistan are under pressure here. They're finding out which batsman has to go out, Roshan. Safra's got there first, he creased his bat, if the car was nowhere. Well, uh, 
I don't think there was any doubt about that. That the decision, I thought it was about the batsman. That's what I thought. I think it was about the batsman. Then Ray eventually they found out it was Iftikhar Ahmed. He had a pass for 25. Pakistan under the, under pressure here. 68 for four. Bold him, bold him. That's wicket number five. And the Sri Lankans have struck gold, dismissing the captain. Pakistan in serious trouble here. Look at those flags. It tells you the story. We are in big trouble here. A very crucial wicket for Sri Lanka. At this stage of the game, we are into 14th over. The Sri Lankan flags are high. Beautifully bold. Straighter delivery. No turn whatsoever. Sir Faraz missed it completely. He was looking to play towards mid-wicket. That's his area. So cleverly bold. Another wicket gone for Pakistan. Pakistan now under pressure. 76 for 5. Again, straight to the man at mid-off. Wanidu Hasaranga, you can't keep that man out of action. You were talking about how useful he is all, as an all-rounder. I can tell you his fielding is as good. Another look about Vasim's hammering that full toss. Good catch, he waited for it, judged it well. Imad Basim's gone. Pakistan now 85 for 6. Imad Basim out for 7 of 5. Right, how well has he hit this? Not well enough. Anushka Gunnatilaka takes the catch and there's a spring in the step of the Sri Lankans. That's another Pakistan wicket and Pakistan are going down here in Lahore. Belligerent striker of the ball, not to beat tonight. It was in the slot, hit the toe end of the bat, and nicely judged at the long on fence. Nothing much has worked for Pakistani batsmen tonight. In fact, nothing has worked for Pakistan. Full stop. 87 for 7. Pradeep tries to get the Yorker in, and that's an amazing shot from Fahim Ashraf, he is absolutely, <laughs> I don't know how he's prized this out from a full length Yorker, he's got four. Oh, he's clipped this nicely, man underneath it though, takes the catch. Gunatalaka takes another catch. He's always in the action tonight and it's a short stay at the crease for Fahim. And another Pakistan batsman, Tilaka, which means lips in Urdu. Fahim Ashram trying to flick it for a six. Found the fielder, Guna Tilaka will not miss that. He's had a wonderful game and a wonderful night in the field. Gone after scoring only eight, 96 for eight. That has been carved out, and Shadab will get four for this. And it brings up the 100 for Pakistan. Oh, he's worked this leg side, leg side, straight into the basket of Avishka Fernando. And the wickets are going like dominoes here in Lahore. Yeah, nothing has worked. Looking for a flick, possibly a six. Udana is so good with his variations. He's a tremendous T20 bowler. Very difficult, really, to hit a slow ball for six with a flick of the wrist. Nine wickets has gone down. Shadab gone after scoring six. Ahmed Amir. Man, there, that's the end of it. Another catch for Gunnatalaka, that's his third. And Pakistan are all out for 101. And Sri Lanka have won a wonderful contest here by 64 runs. They have completely outplayed Pakistan in their own backyard at the Gaddafi Stadium in Lahore. Well played, Sri Lanka. This is massive. It's a massive win for Sri Lanka when you consider 
the team, a young team, a team put together and also Pakistan being so dominant. Their win percentage in T20 is up to the 80s and Sri Lanka down at 30%. And they won by a massive margin. 165 for 5 is what Sri Lanka made after being put in. Danushka Gunatelaka 57 of 38 and Avishka Fernando 33. Hasnain, he got a hat trick, 3 for 37 for him. And Pakistan bowled out in the 18th over for 101 runs. Udana 3 for 11, 3 for 21 for Pradeep. And Wanindu Hasaranga 2 for 20. Sri Lanka, outstanding.